All right, so welcome to video number three of our walkthrough of the Adventures in CRE Hotel Acquisition Model. Uh, in this video, we are going to go um, over the Operating Cash Flow tab in detail. All right, so let's start by doing a high-level overview of how um, this hotel uh, cash flow is structured. All right, so in the header, um, we have our year information. We have our number um, of rooms, which is input in the summary tab. Um, we have available rooms per year, which is basically our number of rooms multiplied by the number of days in the year. Um, our occupied rooms per year, which is uh, uh, the available rooms per year multiplied by the occupancy rate. And below that, we have our occupancy rate. Now, here is an important input that you need to be aware of. So. There are a couple of inputs on, I think, every, actually every page has inputs except for our cash flow um, summary page. So here you'll put the uh, occupancy rate information for every year that you're projecting forward. Um, and then below that we have our average daily rate. So in column, uh, or I'm sorry, in cell C11, you'll put in your ADR for year one. And then in row 12, we have our ADR growth rate. So here is where you will input for every year what your anticipated growth is for the ADR. And then below that, we have our revenue per available room, which is our ADR multiplied by our occupancy rate. All right, so let's move down into the actual cash flow projections. Um, let's first do a macro level review of each of the sections and how they flow. And then we can go in, um, more in depth into each, each section. So at the very basic high level of a hotel pro forma, um, you have your departmental revenues. Um, then you have your departmental expenses. And what you'll notice um, in, these, in both of these sections, all of the detail line items are the same. So you'll notice we have our departmental revenues less our departmental expenses equals our departmental profit. And so from there, we take our departmental profit and we subtract our undistributed expenses. These are expenses that cannot be attributed to any um, individual apartment. I'm sorry, department. Um, so you take your departmental profit less your undistributed expenses to get to your gross operating profit. And from there, we have our franchise fees, our management fee, our fixed expenses. So it's gross operating profit less these three items to get to our NOI. And then now we're back into more you know, traditional commercial real estate pro forma land where we take our NOI less our capital expenditures to get to our cash flow from operations. All right, so let's take a second to review um, this departmental revenue, departmental expenses, and departmental profit sections. This is different. Um, then the this is a different layout than with other um, traditional commercial real estate uh, assets. Um, so when you're looking at hotels, in addition to collecting rent on the rooms, there are a bunch of different um, you know profit centers or potential profit centers. Um, and so you want to look at each of these on an individual basis. So you know the common common sub line items for departmental revenue revenues are you know F and B which will include, you know, typically a bar, a restaurant, if there's, you know, a banquet hall, room service, and then other operating departments, which in this model we're showing, uh, you know, space rental fees, a spa and a gift shop. So you want to be able to look at each of these departments, you know, on their own. Here you want to you wanna be able to see, you know, are these individual um Departments profitable? Are they not? What are, what's going on at the actual level of each department? And another unique um, aspect of a hotel models is that you'll notice that next to each dollar amount for every line item, you'll see these percentage numbers. All right, so let's walk through each section briefly and see what these are referring to. So for uh, departmental revenues, this is basically saying, you know, um, what each line item is as a percent of total revenue. So here you can clearly see that room revenue is the dominant uh, contributor. And moving down to departmental expenses, we're looking at each line item as a percent of its own respective revenue. So 
um, you'll see we have you know high expense ratios for most of these. We see the bar, um, the expenses for the bar takes up 95% of the revenue. Um, and then we look at this as a whole where uh, total departmental expenses as a percentage of total revenue. And then moving down, uh, we do the same thing. We're looking at each department individually, what the profit is as a percent of their respective uh, revenue. Um, so going to undistributed expenses, we're looking at each of these line items as a percentage of total revenue to see how much total revenue is needed to cover you know all these undistributed expenses and these are expenses um, that just cannot be distributed uh, to any in particular department as mentioned previously um, and now we go down to our gross operating profit which again is a percent um, of total revenue and so moving down we're now looking at the remainder of our expenses, which are all, you know, as was the undistributed expenses based off of percent of total revenue. Um, and this leads us to our NOI. And the remaining um, percentages are all based on total revenue. All right, so moving on, let's quickly discuss uh, this this gray area, which we talked about briefly in, I think, the first video. So you'll notice that it says reversion year, and this is all grayed out. So this is basically showing um, the year after we sell um, the hotel in our investment analysis. And the reason this is here is because when we get the um, uh, we get the sale price, we take the exit cap. And uh, well, we take the NOI from the following year and we divide that by the exit cap, which is here, the 7%. So you'll notice, and I did cover this in the first video, I believe if we change to year five, um, the summary table update, and we'll have year five in white, and we'll have the reversion year being year six grayed out. And I believe that's it. And we will go through all of these numbers are coming in from um, the other tabs. I believe all of them to the right. So they're coming from this F and B tab, the uh, other operating departments, other expenses, and well, not the penetration analysis. That this is going straight to the summary tab. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. And we will um, cover these next four tabs in some follow-up videos. Uh, so thanks for watching and stick around for the next video. Thanks.